You got a brother named Ken, do you? Coming to you live from the nation's third most dangerous city, <laughs> Studio 1714. This is John, and this is from Studio 1714. This is FlintTalkRadio.com. I'm sitting down here with the guys from Power and Drive, a rock and roll band, and I'm going to walk. They'll go around there and have them introduce themselves and the instruments they play. So we'll start it right off here. Uh, I'm Ant. Uh, I play the drums in the band. I'm Kevin, and I play the bass. I'm uh, Mark. I play guitar. And you guys have been together for how long? Five years. Five years. Oh, also, let me mention, we all sing to me. You all sing. So, yeah. so, like, dude, we all do lead and backup vocals. So, so yeah. it's like it's a workout. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, you guys, I got a. What would you describe in your own music as? What would you describe in your own? Mm, almost dysfunctional at times, <laughs> uh, and mid chaotic, but yet makes sense. Melodic with a crunch. Crunch. That's good. You want to add anything to that? Um, I don't know. Solos. <laughs> 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 Oh, God. yeah. <laughs> a lot of them. <laughs> you all want solos, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, the we, egos we got, have it, right? Yeah, everybody gets to do their own little thing. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are your uh, major influences, and how can we hear them in your individual sounds? Sound? Wow. Well, a lot of Alice in Chains. Yeah, Alice in Chains, uh, Rush, um, Primus. Black Sabbath. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Some old school, new school, a little bit, so mixture of all the incubus so you're like yeah. guys, like guys listen to radio a lot mud vein out mud vein oh, system yeah. Mud tool vein. yeah yeah, yeah. Yep. A, lot of, a lot of tools now you're heading to agree with your work yeah they're hitting it though Stevie Ray Vaughan uh, yeah yeah Iron Maiden he still play his <laughs> stuff a lot on the radio man they have Stevie Ray Vaughan he's been gone for quite a while now I think yeah. he's gone longer than he was really popular and you know yeah, he was it's, really great he was exactly. great exactly so, um, Pantera, please don't forget. Pantera? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's some Pantera in there. Mm. Oh, I gotta say Dream Theater for me, too. Yeah. Now, that's, you know, you're about the second band member I've interviewed in the past couple of years that brings that up, Dream Theater, and I've, my brother, he's older than I am, he's, I think he was, in, he really liked three at Dream Theater, too. And he had yeah. quite a few, quite a bit of their work. I don't, I don't listen to a little bit of it, but it's like, that was years ago, but it's just yeah, like, it's like interesting some, you brought that up. Yeah, they like some crazy heavier version of Rush at times. You yeah. Know, with Very certain progressive. Things, you know, with the time and the songs, how they switch mm. into the stuff and just, in, it's insane. That's what I like about System, just stops. System of a Down, I mean? Yeah, mm-hmm. I love the way, it, it, yeah. It's that style, that Mud Vane's good. See, System of Down, somebody sent me a CD to, and I've listened to it quite a few times. I like quite a few of the tracks. I mean, not going to say I'm an overwhelming fan of theirs, but I mean, I like some of their stuff, you know. And you know, another band I, is, that really caught me off, it's just one of those bands that have a really uh, kick in that, you know, album, but it's, the follow-ups can't catch up with it. That's like Queens of the Stone Age. Oh, yeah. That one I was doing, one. yeah. That first yeah. one. Yeah, we wore that out. Yeah. <laughs> they guys hang around quite a bit together, it sounds like. Oh, and yeah, yeah. You guys actually, like I was saying, man, when you were talking before, it's like uh, you guys been together quite a time and probably longer than most marriages in the United States of us. So, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, do you, you say that? that. We, you no, know, you, do it, you got creative differences, or do you actually argue over that kind of stuff? Or well, if we if we have creative differences, then it's like a cre- and then the arguments are creative. So mm-hmm. you know, it's never you know where it's you know being like or screaming or yelling. You know, if it, if it, if we ever get to that, we always just stop ourselves anyway. Yeah. You know? Because you guys are seeing, yeah. So do you, uh, I'll tell you what. Let's listen to a cut from your one of your um, EP there, and you know, get people coming back to it. Yeah, this one is off the single. Sing off the single. Yeah.
can tell us uh, which uh, that C EP or CD that came off of. Yeah, we just uh, put it, we actually recorded it for the EP, but it, we didn't have it ready in time. So uh, we we put it on a single. Mm -hmm. and it's something we're just going to hand out at the shows, give away, throw a couple live tracks on it too. Now this is your uh, CD too, right yep, here. Yeah, that's the uh, actual EP we did, four yeah, songs. Four songs and. Um, Great packaging too, and everything on this. So, how long did it take yeah. you? Now, you're talking to it before we were talking about it, and you said there was a pretty interesting. You actually got that together pretty quick, you know, the music behind for that. Yeah, yeah, it came together really quick. Uh, we rehearsed the songs for a while and uh, went down to uh, El Pop Studios, Neat and Rapids, and uh, knocked it out in a day. That's so. awesome. That's really good. So, like, you guys really kicked ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, your band has a band, the classic power uh, trio lineup. How does that help to shape your sound as a band? I mean, you get the three guys, and you're all like playing your instruments, and you're like, you got the guitar and the bass and the drum, and then you said you all sing. So, that's the basic of all the bands I grew up with. That was basically the kind of lineup they had, you know, the ones I liked anyway. Yeah, like Triumph. Yeah, yeah. Triumph. God, you read my mind, man. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. Yeah. yeah, you read my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Saga is another one I think yeah. was like the, that too. And the police. Yeah. Police, yeah. Yeah, yeah but then I'd see um I think the doors had like three guys too, didn't they? Or four. There's three. There's three, wasn't yep, yeah. three of them, yeah. Seems a little tighter that way. Yeah. Know? There's not as much yeah. uh, room for error. Yeah, it makes a tighter sound. That's yeah. like um you got you, I mean, we're talking before during like a preliminary thing just to get to know each other and you guys have a wide range of like influences. Amazing. I mean, it's like uh, you try to draw. Do you try to draw from it, or just stuff you like, or do you try to draw from all those? Or uh, it's it's a little bit of both because you know you, you you try not to do it too much where you're copying their style so much that you're losing your own. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's it's it is an influence that you you put upon sometimes in certain styles of your own uh, tunes that you hear. You know, mm -hmm. within what you're doing. No, it's like um, the creative process is kind of. Um, Kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like, it's almost like giving birth. I would say I've heard so many people, you know, kind of compare that to. I mean, basically, there's like a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Do you find that? I mean, of course, you put down the music for this one pretty quickly. But the genesis behind all that, you know, what motivates you, what gives you the inspiration for the songs, what do you draw from that? Where do you get all that from? Uh, a lot of it's just, uh, you know, day-to-day -day things, you know. Uh, the town we're living in, the, uh, uh, you know, the economy, I mean... Uh, <laughs> You know, personal things going on in our lives, you know. Uh, a lot of, some of it's, you know, got a little political to it, you know. It's whatever we're feeling at the time. So, I guess we're going to play another uh, cut from one of the CD. And before we go into that, um, uh, how does the band like to record in the studio? Where do you record at, your CD at? You've already mentioned that place in Eaton Rapids, right? But uh, Yeah, we really like that studio out there. They, uh, they've they got an amazing setup. I mean, I, yeah, I've real never nice, seen real nice guys. hundreds of thousands of dollars of equipment. It was yeah. nice. It's, like a, it's kind of like a, considered like a wet dream for musicians, yeah, right? Yeah, it's <laughs> more than I could <laughs> ever buy. You know. yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, oh, by the way, where, pre where can people buy your CDs at? Uh, you can buy it on our MySpace uh, slash Pound Drive. Uh, it's also available on iTunes and Rhapsody. That's great. That's a, those are great distribution points. Yeah. Let's. What are we listening to here? Uh, this is. I think it's Hammer. Hammer. Okay. Yeah, bring the hammer down.
listening to that track, I was like, I was got this question coming up. It's like, um, can you describe the writing process and what you you know, like this this kind of song? It's like, uh, it's a, I think there's a definite kind of a dark imagery to it, but I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a very dark. Song. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what, what, yeah. What prompts uh, promotes that? I mean, how do you sit down? Besides just the, the, the logistics uh, of all writing, you know. That sometimes things come to me. I sometimes I channel surf mm-hmm. and things will really stick out. Well, like I either look at BBC or you know sometimes something either funny or Comedy Central, but <laughs> from that looking at newspapers and sometimes look at a movie and that had bounced into my mind when I saw that movie uh, with uh, Jodie Foster in it. Um, okay. That's uh, <laughs> I forgot. There's is that one where she's the getting vengeance. One. The brave. Oh, one. oh okay, yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna, I did see that movie, but I remember the reviews when it came yeah, out. Yeah, and if you yeah. if you hear a lot of this parts of the song was similar to the theme lines of what happened in that movie. So it's it was just something that really sort of messed up the way it went down and it just sort of stuck in my mind so I wrote something about it. So and then I'll have everybody contribute somewhat too. Like uh, they, somebody might give the lyrics idea, somebody might yeah. give their maybe yeah. a motif or whatever. Yeah. And we yeah. we and then we it's basically you you'll come with a piece, you either come with a song, someone come come with a, a fill in, it'll come with a beat. Then you know, once you come with the beat, it just keeps going and building. He comes, he throws a beat, makes me think of another part. Mark throws in another riff, throws the part, we play that. Next thing you know, and it's just like we're just building right on top. And yeah. next thing you know, we format it to the point. Oh, here's a song. That's really great. And everybody throws as yeah. input in there. Yeah. Um, what big shows have you and events have this band previously played, and um, what things are ahead for us, Pound Drive? Well, we did. Uh we done a few Battle of the Bands. We did one in downtown Flint, and we won that. <laughs> <laughs> was there a dispute or what? Was that that uh, it was it was fixed, video? man. No, no, no we it got was a, fixed. We got a second place. But you want a recount, right? No. Yeah. 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 Crowd applause. We won. So, uh, what are some of the bands you enjoy playing with in the, in the local area? What is what some of them are? Some of the bands we play yeah, with. Yeah, you'd like to play with. Uh, we really dig Common Complexity. They are yeah. great. I wish we've had them in here yeah. before. Yeah, Common yeah, Complexity. Great, is really cool. great, great bunch of guys, man. They're fun. Uh, we've done some shows with uh, with Mothra. Yeah, <laughs> yeah a couple yeah. of shows yeah. with Mothra. Yeah. And then, uh, who else? We opened up for uh, Reverie down yeah. at IROC. That was pretty cool. Or National. Yeah, yeah. That was about, about the biggest band to open up for, for, for locally for them. Because a lot, a lot of bands we play with is just like passing through, you know, we play yeah. them. We didn't have an opportunity to play with them once or twice, but there were a lot of pretty cool bands we met while we were out there, you know, because we uh, we even played with uh, Cherry Silver Stitch, and uh, and I think there's another band out in um, I think it was in, was it Empty Arms, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, and then yeah. a couple of bands we played with like once, but we never got no, a chance empty to Empty Pockets, Empty Pockets, yeah, <laughs> something we all gone through lately. <laughs> um, That's right. So well. Uh, Maybe this is maybe I don't know if this is a fair question because I don't know where you've all played at before. You know if you have anything to compare it with, but um, what makes uh, the Flint music scene a unique place to be in as a band? I mean, uh, do you have any other maybe things to base it on? But I mean, what do you find unique about the Flint music scene? It's raw. It's raw. Yeah. Very down to earth, yeah. gut dirty. Yeah. I guess we yeah. call it. Yeah. 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 Not highly refined polish. Either like it or you don't. All right. Yeah. You know, and they yeah. let you know. You know yeah. There's, there's so many ways to do. It. I mean. With us, yeah, it, it'll be straightforward. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, raw. Yeah, it's, I think that's kind of like the blue collar thing. It's like area when yeah. we still had blue collar jobs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know, and it's something that's like also like a longevity. You know, longevity on top of that. You know, and some that like what we play now want to be able to, and then the things that we can do further on be able to play that throughout the years, like how Rosa Stones, Errol Smith, and. Any other the yeah. next dinosaurs is still doing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah those, those dinosaurs are still. We just might be the dinosaurs of Flint. Yeah, right. Because yeah. I just seen one of the uh, Rush's racing concerts, and oh my goodness, it was awesome. You know, yeah, they they're, are. They're, they're, they're thirty-five years have been together. I think that's what I yeah. heard. Oh, yeah, thirty-five goodness. years. That's 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 that's. I'll be thirty-five next year. <laughs> so I hope they can. Hope you guys are rocking together in a nursing home, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up tonight, but I'm glad you guys stopped in. I definitely well, extend uh, yeah, come back thanks. again. Um, maybe we'd we'll like awesome. to see you up here upstairs playing, and we'll record you. Maybe that's a possibility if you want to do it. Oh, okay. rock it out for you. Yeah, right. yeah live thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll play on the